this is the breadboard that came in your kit. So it's a connectivity matrix where you plug parts into the holes and it functions to hold them on to the breadboard and also to make electrical connections. So breadboards comes in different sizes. So you can have really large ones. You can see this one has a ton of parts on it. It's got terminals on it and things for heavy duty, large scale debugging and constructing of circuits. There's smaller ones. So they're little tiny breadboards. They come in all different sizes depending on the application you need. And they all function basically the same way. So the most important part of what they do is form electrical connections between the holes in the breadboard. And there's a pattern on there. And how it works is we call these here the rows. And so all these five holes right here in this row are connected together. Same with all these five and all of these five and all these five, et cetera, et cetera, up and down the board. Now there's no connection across this part right here down the middle. And the reason there's no connection is because if you have things like op amps, which look like this right here, you can see there's eight legs on there. If we plug that op amp into the breadboard, now the pins on this side are isolated from the pins on this side. And that allows us to do what they call fanning out the pins you know, meaning that we can connect four different devices or wires to this pin, four to this one, that one, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, down the board. So it's forming a connectivity matrix. You know, a very basic thing would be say if we wanted to connect a wire to pin one of the op amp, which is the one in this corner right here, we could plug in a wire like this, and now I have an electrical connection that goes from the pin. To the wire and then to this row right here. So now this row is electrically connected to that pin via that wire. So this is going to be useful for a lot of things. Another example, say we wanted to connect a resistor between two of the pins on the operational amplifier. So we'll choose pin four and five. Push it in there like that. I'll bend that over just so you can see the connections. So now I have one pin of the resistor connected to pin four and the other pin is connected to pin five. And you know, the sky is the limit here. So these jumper wires right here, which come in your kit, are used for making these connections. And the nice thing about them is they're preformed and they're color coded to different lengths. So they follow, they follow the same color code as the resistor color code, meaning that a one is, a br is brown, and it just happens that this is one inch is long, and the holes on the breadboard are spaced on 0.1 inches. So if I plug this wire in without really bending it, you know, just nicely like that, that means it's going to span 10 holes or one inch. So it works the other way too. Say if you wanted to make a connection from this row right here to this pin, count the number of holes, be like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So a nine is a white, and so that's actually 0.9, whereas the brown one is one inch. This is a decimal, so 0.9 is white. And then if I wanted to move a few holes, say if I want to connect this wire to that wire right there, I can count one, two, three, four, five. So five is green, so it's really 0.5 of an inch. Pick out the, the wire plug it in, and you want to be careful when you're plugging these in, especially with the new breadboard, because the holes are really tight. So you want to ease it in there straight, and if you put it at an angle, sometimes it'll bend the pins and it gets harder to put them in. So same thing is true with resistors. Like if I have a resistor that the leads are really mangled on, like say it's all mangled up like that, I'm going to have a hard time pushing it into the breadboard you know, as opposed to one that has straight leads that hasn't been used much. So there are other connections on the breadboard. So in addition to this field right here, there are the things on the side that are called the rails or the buses. So rail means that it used to be in, uh, in old school electronics, you'd have wire rails that would function as things like power and ground or common terminals. And a bus is the same thing. You know, it's like a bus bar of wire. Think of it kind of like a third rail on, on, a, on a subway or something like that. But anyway, the, uh, these are connected up and down the board. So you can see where that blue line is. 
all these holes here are electrically connected together. And that's really convenient if you wanted to say make that ground. Then if you're connecting ground to multiple points on the board, it's available at a short distance, as opposed to if all my ground points were connected over here and I wanted to get to the other side of the board, I'd have to run wires. So one thing to be aware of is that on some breadboards, probably about a third of them, there's no connection from this bus over here to the bus on the other side. And the only real way to figure that out is to check it with a multimeter, which you'll do in the lab. That'll tell you if there's an electrical connection between this blue bus and this one over here. So the three other buses on the breadboard, so there's the red bus, which is on the inside here. There's another blue bus over here. And then a red bus on the outside there. And you could use those for whatever you want. You know, in our labs, because we're really five volt centric because of the Arduino power supply, you'd say almost in every lab, you'd have one of these being the five volts and the other one being ground. And you could choose which ones you use for which. You know, convention is, is that the red is positive and the blue is negative. You know, so maybe you'd put your five volt connection to the red one, put your ground to the negative one, you know, or you could have two five volts, one on each side and two grounds, one on each side. It really depends on your circuit and what you're building and how you like to build things.